Welcome to the walkthrough of this Fleetwood Paysero motorhome. I'm going to go ahead and start off here in the front. We're just going to go over the engine, just the basics. Nothing too complicated. I just want to be sure you know everything. Okay, the hood comes down like this. If you notice, I have a blue key right here. This blue key only does one of two things. Unlocks the engine hood, and I'll show you what the other one is later. Inside the engine compartment, what we have right here, here's your oil. Your dipstick is the yellow one to check the oil. The red one is the transmission. Right down here, you'll see a plastic reservoir. That's for your radiator fluid. And following me over here to the right, way back here, which you probably can't see with the camera, but just look, is a uh, the windshield washer fluid. And the gallons are set up on the side. I'll show you that later. Uh, they're pre-filled. Just dump them, fill them. Batteries down here. Everything should be good to go. Any questions on that? Hopefully not. Remember, blue key, lock, unlock, locks on each side. Okay, on this side of the motorhome, again, nothing too explanatory. You see LPG, for those of you who don't know, that means basically propane. Okay, this is where your propane tank is. When you go to fill it, it's right here, here's the valve. You don't do anything. The attendants will come out. I don't know where to fill it. You'll have to look that up. But the attendants will come out, they'll tell you to get out of the vehicle, they'll make you, they'll fill it up and they'll take care of it. But just know, propane is on the passenger side of the RV. Next bay over, this is actually an empty bay, but this is kind of semi-important. In this bay here is your freshwater tank with a nice Sharpie, I've got quarter, half, and so on up the line. But inside there's levels and I'll show you that on the video later, how to check the levels electronically. But the only thing I wanted to show you is this release valve right here. You turn that and you'll get water going out. For whatever reason, I'm just showing it to you. I don't know that you would ever use it, but that's where it is. Okay, and then right here next to that bay, the door, obviously. You'll notice right here a metal clip and clips right here. Please, always, because of wind, anything else, always clip it if you plan to leave it open. If you don't want bugs, here's how you do the screen. Now you have a screen door. But please, always remember to clip it because the wind will catch it and damage the door. Also, with this door, if you notice a little bit of damage right here, hopefully one day that'll be gone. Uh, this happened because of wind, because of this bay. Even though this bay has a rubber stopper on it, if the wind is blowing hard enough, please be careful because it will damage the door. And I would hate to have to charge you for that. Okay, this bay right next to the door is all your miscellaneous supplies. I mentioned earlier that I have a bug wash ready. It's a half a gallon exactly full. That tank in there takes half a gallon. So if you run out of bug wash, they're ready for you. There's oil for the engine and generator. Hopefully you will never have to mess with any of this, but if you did and you called me, this is where it's located. Right here, the other blue key. Isn't this exciting? Not really. To fill that fresh water tank that I showed you earlier is right here. Very easy. You shove a hose in there, nothing special. You can attach a filter to it if you want, I don't care. But this is how you fill your fresh water tank for when you bring it back. Just make sure it's locked. Because if you drive down the road and this is not locked, it will flop open and fly off. And, and that will off. cost you money. Mm -hmm. Right next to this, everybody asks what this is. It says hot on it. That's all that it is. This is the exhaust vent for propane when you're running the heater. So just don't touch it. Right below this, you'll find the hot water tank. It's only a 10 gallon tank, nothing more. Yes, you can run out of hot water pretty quickly. I encourage people to take showers wherever you're staying. It doesn't cost you propane or water. If you had to go here and drain this for some reason, Here's the drain valve, lefty loosey, righty tidy. That will let the water out. I doubt you will ever use this, but I just want you to know and be on the safe side. Okay, something I'd like to point out before I forget is where the hydraulic jacks are at. You don't have to mess with them outside, but I do want to show you in case you need to find them or look at them and make sure that they are fully up. There's two of them below the back tires here and right behind the back tires here there's two more of them. And that's the hydraulic jacks. 
always make sure they're up before you leave. It's an extra safety precaution. Believe me, you don't want to leave the jacks down. That's a thousand dollar repair bill. You don't want to mess with that. Okay, now back to the bays. The only thing I keep in here, going along with the hydraulic jacks, I keep right here, jack levels. You put these under the jacks. If for some reason you're staying at a park or on unlevel ground or whatever the case may be, use these little Lego blocks. Put them right underneath whatever side is not level, and there you go. Most people don't use them, but I keep them in here just in case. There's also plenty of paper towels. I always keep extra in this bay. If you run out of paper towels, there they are. That's all this bay is for. Next bay right here. This is a kind of a miscellaneous bay. Extension cord right here. And and I would require that if you have to plug in the park cable, which I'll show you on the other side, but if you have to plug into your house, use this extension cord, okay? Because this will hold more amps. Just trust me on this. I also have brushes right here to clean with. They're not the greatest, but they're there. Take it to a pressure wash. Use them if you need to. Most places already have some. And then hoses, extra hoses in case you can't reach the one you're parked at. The next bay over, I have nothing here, if I'm not mistaken. By the way, if I didn't already show you, the little black key unlocks pretty much everything. Also, when you open these bays, you push them with your knees and pull out with the handle. That's a safety feature, so in case they're unlocked, they don't come flying open. But anyway, this is just a junk bay. People left some charcoal and firewood in here. Feel free to use it. No position. Welcome to the back side of the motorhome. Really easy, nothing too fancy here. Here's a ladder that will take you to the roof, and yes, you can go on the roof. Please, at your own discretion, you're responsible for your own self and not falling off. And yes, I don't know what the weight limit is on the roof, so uh, just be smart about it. There's a hitch I have right here. Yes, you're more than welcome to tow a vehicle and or a trailer. No problem. I don't include this with it, but you can rent that from me if you'd like. Um, but this is the big thing people use the phone and they forget. The gas is on the driver's side. If you park on the passenger side, the hoses don't reach. So driver's side, here's the gas. Other than that, this is the back. Nothing to it. Oh, there's a backup camera up there, but you'll see that inside. 